Most of us are aware of the crisis that exists in education in the United States. You can see some of the statistics here that show the metrics that are compared to the rest of the countries in the industrialized nations around the world. And Arizona is ranked pretty low as far as the United States goes, and you can see that there's a direct correlation between the educational level of students in Arizona to the economic income of the average resident. And if you compare this slide to the previous slide, you can see that we're fighting for last place. You might ask, why are we here? Well, maybe we spend a little bit too much time on entertainment and celebrities, trying to figure out what's important in their lives rather than concentrating on the things that are important in our lives. Or maybe we measure our success on how many things we can accumulate. The houses, the money, the car, the stardom. Maybe that's what we use to measure our success. Um, I would like to challenge you to see if you guys can uh, identify the inventors who invented these items right here. So take a second to yourself and see if you can make that list. Now look at these newer inventions, and now tell me if you can tell me, or think to yourself, who invented these. It's a little more difficult. You might ask yourself, why is it so? You know, back in the 60s, people were interested in the United States about getting to the moon and being number one in the world as far as science and technology. But it seems like we've lost our focus a little bit in the United States. And these are the kind of things that we put our emphasis in today. Here's another example of some of the priorities I'd like to point out. Here is an uh, uh, aerial shot of the school that I work at, Carl Hayden High School. It's a one mile um, square mile. And I'm going to show you the differences and how much priority is put on allocating land for the different areas. So here you see uh, the area shaded in yellow that's dedicated to athletics. And you're going to see in a second here the area that's dedicated for ac uh, academics. And typically in the United States, high schools follow this same pattern. And our school tends to be a little bit on the smaller side. So about two-thirds of the real estate is dedicated for athletics and about a third for academics, and then there's the stuff in between that's uh, joint use, I guess you can call it. So what we, can we do? 20 years ago, Dean Kamen, an inventor, started noticing all these patterns throughout the United States and realized that we are going to lose our edge in this, in this economic world and global economy if we don't do something about it. So he created FIRST Robotics. FIRST Robotics is an outlet for high school students that are interested in science and technology to have some kind of extracurricular activity, just like athletes have sports after school. Uh, robotics students can have competitions after school. Uh, Hands-on activity, especially emphasizing STEM, that's science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, uh, it brings kids out from behind the textbook and puts them in real-world, real-life situations where they have to use science, technology, engineering, math. Another thing that FIRST does is inspire kids because they get to meet individuals like Sebastian Thru, inventor of the autonomous vehicles, and uh, Joe, um, Steve Wozniak, inventor of the personal computer. You also might notice Sally Ride there. STEM can be fun and exciting. You can have just as much as excitement and fun as you do in a sports program, in a robotics program, if you just spend all this time and energy building your robot and you go out and see it do something that you've spent all this time trying to figure out how to do. Recognition is another factor that FIRST uh, emphasizes. There's a, they're very big on recognition, including helping you get uh, exposure in, for your school, for your community, and for yourself. And just like in sports, it's good to have that affirmation. STEM can be very rewarding. Contrary to what our culture might have you believe, there are actually more scholarships available for academic uh, uh, ways to go to college as opposed to athletic ways. And how can we do it? The Arizona State Tax Credit Plan is probably one of the best secrets in, out of all the states in, in the United States, and we're lucky we have that. But what you really should be asking is, how can your state or your school district not afford to do it given the climate of the situation in the United States? And what happens if we don't? The United States is losing its edge rapidly. And there's three examples up there if you compare it to the rest of the world. It is very important, especially now in this day and age, to get STEM out there, outside the classroom, as much as possible. If you need any more information about robotics, the website up there, especially in Arizona, there's also some other websites if you want to get involved in robotics. Thank you very much. Yeah.